We're going to begin with a very busy start to former President Donald Trump's historic criminal trial right here in New York City. Now, Donald Trump was mostly quiet during the proceedings. That's in contrast to recent comments on social media and elsewhere that have gotten him into a little bit of trouble. The former president faces 34 felony counts related to alleged hush money payments to cover up an affair. Now, he denies all of this. Robert Costa was in the courthouse, and we're glad to say that this morning, Bob is in the studio with us. Good morning to you. Good morning. On day one of his historic criminal trial, former President Trump lashed out at the New York judge who is requiring him to be there every day court is in session, potentially for eight weeks. And so far, not one juror has been chosen. Donald Trump was defiant Monday as he became the first former president to face criminal charges. We're not going to be given a fair trial. During the proceedings, Trump appeared irritated at times and bored at others, even appearing to nod off at one point, but perked up as potential jurors entered the courtroom. Out of the first batch of 96 prospective jurors who were sworn in and questioned, more than half were excused, many after saying they could not be fair and impartial. Trump is accused of scheming to funnel payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels through his former lawyer Michael Cohen in what prosecutors say was an attempt to stop an alleged past affair from becoming a scandal just before the 2016 presidential election. Trump has denied both the affair and making the payments. The trial is likely to feature testimony from key witnesses, including Cohen and Daniels, along with former White House aide Hope Hicks. Last week, the former president slammed Cohen and Daniels on social media, calling them sleazebags. Attorneys with the Manhattan DA's office asked the judge to hold the former president in contempt for violating a gag order. A hearing on that will be held later this month. It's a scam. It's a political witch hunt. Throughout the day, Trump sent out a blizzard of fundraising appeals blasting the case and criticized the judge for not allowing him to attend a U.S. Supreme Court hearing next week on his presidential immunity claims. He thinks he's superior, I guess, to the Supreme Court. We've got a real problem with this judge.